हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग माई सेल्फ एन एस यादव अवर चैनल इज जी यू फीस कोचिंग क्लासेस टूडे वी सर डिस्कस द फोर्स ऑन ए करंट कैरेक्टर लेटर प्लेस इन ए यूनिफॉर्मिटी क्लास फोर्स ऑन करंट कैरी कंडक्टर प्लेस इन एन यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दिस इज अवर आर्टिक कंडक्टर करंट कैरी कंडक्टर प्लेस इन यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक द इलेक्ट्रॉन मूविंग इन साइड द कंडक्टर विच produces the permissive current experience force the direction of motion of the electron is against the direction of the current center the electron is against is opposite to the direction of convention current let l is the length of the current suppose this is our magnetic field so this is the conductor length of this conductor is l we consider an element dl and this is the direction of magnetic field the angle between the magnetic field and the conductor is theta that this this ab is the conductor of length l let l is the length of the conductor and 
B is the strength of magnetic field. Strength of the magnetic field. A is the area of cross section. Let A is the area of cross section. Of the conductor. And number of free electrons per volume. The force of the electron let the drift velocity of the electron. is B. The force on any electron is Fm is equal to minus E B cross B. This is the force on Electron. The number of electrons in the element. Let an element of length be a. The number of three electrons. Inside the element, e equal to m into volume a b s. Then the force of then the force on element. Df is equal to Fm into volume N into Al. And F is equal to from equation first minus E B cross B into N A B F. Or we can write it E N A B F into B cross B. This is the chart since on the element B Q is equal to E N A B L and V is equal to minus BL upon DT. Minus sign indicate that's the direction of the element and the motion of the particle is opposite. DT sign indicate that the direction of element and the electron opposite to each other.
and motion of electron. Now, look down it, and you can write here, thus, Pf is equal to minus dq minus dl upon dt into p or we can write it dq upon dt into dl cross dv this is i since dq upon dt is equal to i Current. So we can write it I into DL cross V. Force on whole of the conductor is the sum of the force on all the elements. The force on the conductor is F is equal to I into DL V or you can write I L cross V equal to F this is The net force in the scalar form F is equal to R current F is equal to I L V sin T. So this is all about the force on current carry conductor when placed in a magnetic field. Again, D is the magnetic field acting from left to right and A conductor of length L is placed this way, making an angle theta. We consider an element DL from this conductor. The force on one electron. The current is passing, it means electron is moving the direction of the current and direction of the electron just opposite to each other. So the force on Conductor force on electron, one electron is minus E D cross B. The number of three electrons inside the element is volume into per unit three electrons. N is the number of three electrons per unit volume, and A D L is the volume of this element. A is the volume of this element. So the net number of free electrons is equal to n into ADL. Force on one electron is such and force on whole of the electrons inside the element is force on one electron into number of free electrons inside the element. This is the just equal to the product of the number of free electrons and force on one electron. This becomes this. Now E, N, A, D, L. This is the total number of the charge inside the element. E is the charge on one electron. N into A into D, L are the number of the three electrons. So this is equal to D, Q. N velocity is equal to minus, this velocity is minus D, L upon D, T. This sign is Indicate that the direction of the motion of the electrons and the element, length element is just opposite to each other. So we can write this way this minus this minus because plus dt, this t, dt, safety t. Know the dt 
and the end of the year, if your quantity becomes current, so I into the end into B, we be integrated, then the force control of the conductor can be determined. So taking the <coughs> length 0 to L, this becomes F is equal to I into L cross B. Or in the scalar form, I L B sine theta. Theta should be different from the 0 and 180. So this is all about our article, if this year. Okay.